Hi, um, I'm going to show you how to use our one inch button maker. So if you want to make your own buttons, the first thing that you have to do is you have to find a template for all of our buttons. So normally you can just find this online. If you Google one inch button template, you can come up with papers like this. And basically you would edit it so your images are on these circles right here. So the interior red one is what actually is going to be shown on your button, but you need the entire circle, but you don't need to have your design on the outside part. So for example, this is an edited version for our Invention Studio logo. This is what your buttons are actually going to end up looking like. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to take some scissors and we're going to cut out along the black lines of our template. There we go. Once we have our one inch button um, cut out, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our materials to make the actual buttons. So when we're making our buttons, we're going to be using four items. So first we're going to have our cutout image. So this is from the piece of paper that we had. Next, we're going to have this little metal backing. So this metal backing actually has a lip on the edge. We're going to have the part that actually gets pinned into everything. So this is going to have your pin and it's going to be white. And then you also have a plastic cover sheet. So this is going to make it so all your buttons are waterproof and it's not just a piece of paper. This edge, this rim right here should be facing downwards and then that'll just stick into our button maker. And then we'll put our image on next. And then our plastic piece. And the plastic piece is not gonna fit perfectly on the image. It's gonna be a little wonky, but that'll, um, it'll become flat when we actually press down on our button maker. So then we're gonna slide it under the handle and press down on the handle. And you know you did it correctly if your button actually disappears from your pot. Right now it's actually stuck inside of this handle piece. Next we're going to take our white pin. We're going to put the pin side facing downwards. So you should only be able to see our zigzag. And then you also want to make sure that the actual clip, the needle part of the pin, is on your right. So then we're going to slide that underneath our handle and press down again. When we take it out, we'll actually have our finished button.